Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of washed degenerates streak through the attack and claim the primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fin. KOTT News were on the scene when it all went down and got a word with one of the participants. Thank you very much for stopping to talk to me for just a minute. Were you in that fight tonight? It really wasn't a fight, but yes. Yeah, I know. Would you care to take us through what happened out there? It doesn't. When, usually when it's over that quickly, it's been a resolved issue beforehand or a peaceful negotiation has happened, but uh, you seem to be in the dark about it? Um, as far as I know, it was just another throw war. The, the other company that held this place before had only five people. I see. So it was just filled up with about 25 in total, and so it was a pretty clear victory. We also requested an interview with Degenerate Leadership and were appointed a representative to discuss the future of the Finn. Hey, this is Raku, uh, uh, Raku's representative, I should say. Uh, it was a really hard fought war. We held W really, really hard and uh, they just held S, just better than us. It's over pretty quickly. What are your intentions now that you've been given the Hamlet? Oh man, they call this the swamp, but you know, it's got beauty in it. You know, if you look around, you know, get some glowing shrooms. Get some diseases here and there, but uh, it's a great swamp. We're gonna do tier five all, because you know, tier five all is great for everyone in the economy these days. Later in First Light, we caught up with the Spice Lords to discuss their efforts in their victory. Congratulations <laughs> on your victory here tonight, holding it for the entire duration. How do you feel it went out there tonight? It went well. Uh, a lot of our folks showed up and we tried to slot as many of our guys as possible. Uh, we're just getting ready for the new update and it's nice to see a lot of my members coming out. So thanks for everyone. Excellent. Was there anybody out there whose efforts you might want to highlight? For sure. Uh, I would like to highlight our Dex gang for showing up every time. They really pulled it down from inside the fort. I also like to highlight our boy Ace and Shushi for his fire staff highlight. He was on VG today, but we'll make sure he pull, pulls out the fire staff next war. Do you have anything coming up here in the hamlet that the people, uh, the citizens of the island might want to swing through here and celebrate with you? Yeah, we're working hard on uh, getting our town upgraded. I think right now we're in good shape, so if anyone likes to pay us a visit, I'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, we're all ways around here. <laughs> very well, my friend. Thank you very much. I, th that's quite enough for me, unless there's something that you might like to add. No, we are all good to go. I just want to give a last shout out to our boy Taos for showing up with a great sport and going 0-40 every war. Call him the Mr. 40 Bomb. It was a nail-biter in the nightcap, but Norivana forces were able to keep the fort flag from touching the ground in the final moments in Windsward. Brava and Alpha down in the first two minutes of the fight, but a 28-minute fight on the outer objective and then maybe an extra six minutes inside the fort. How do you feel it went out there tonight? It was a good fight, John. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, adrenaline coming from both sides overall. Um, I think it was a really, really fair, close fight. Honestly, one of the one of the more serious wars we've had on El Dorado in a long time. Yes, it was enjoyable to watch. How do you feel the uh, recent uh, lineup restrictions that were imposed by AGS might have impacted the performance of anyone tonight? Yeah, yeah. The bug with uh, people doing a war today and then not being able to get on a roster at all. Uh, uh, screwed over people on both sides, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, you know, one, you know, a small indie development company, by the way. Quickly to the weather, and it's going to be a wonderful afternoon all day long as the sun crosses the Eternum sky once more. Then, as you might expect, the island's organized corrupted forces will rise up and invade 30% of the island's regions. No submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight but we'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.